Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 9th of 2023 well, it is titled Doom Star Eta Carinae. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of a relatively famous star visible in the southern hemisphere. And it certainly doesn't look like a star. The star is an extremely massive star at the center, almost 100 times the mass of our sun, which is about the upper limit of how massive a star can be. So there's actually a limit to how big a star can be. You cannot form a star a thousand times the mass of the sun, of the sun. If such a star tried to form the intense energy within the center of the star energy would produce so fast that it would be it overwhelm gravity and rip the star apart. It would shred the star getting its mass down lower. So Eta Carinae is at that upper limit and we are seeing even here some signs of mass loss where material is actually being pushed off by the star because of the immense amount of energy that it emits. Now it was at one point it actually varies in brightness and about 150 years ago or so it became one of the brightest stars in the southern sky because of an emission of extra material. Now this will be the type of star that will eventually become a supernova. So when will that happen? Well, it could be any time. It could happen this year. It might not happen for a decade or a century or a millennium or even longer. We can't tell exactly when it will explode because that would require a knowledge of what is happening deep inside the star. What is happening in its core? We know that it's fusing lighter elements into heavier elements and it's when it gets up to fusing into iron that it reaches the end of its life. Once a star builds up an iron core it will be unstable and will rip itself apart in a supernova explosion. But we can't see that we can't see into the star we only see what's going on on the outside so we don't know how close it is to that point. Once it builds up that iron core it may only have days to live. So this is an extremely fast process. And when we say that in astronomy, sometimes we talk about hundreds, thousands or millions of years. But here we're talking about something that is a relatively short process by any sense. So this is a star that will explode. And the good question is, when will it explode? And that's what we do not know. So here we see this star and the nebula around it. So the nebula is actually bits of material that have been expelled from this star. So material is pushed out by the intense radiation pressure that builds up because of the energy being generated in its core. In a typical star that radiation pr pressure is balanced by gravity. However, when the radiation pressure is high enough, it can overwhelm gravity and actually expel material outward. And that is likely what we are seeing in this double lobed nebula as material is pushed off toward either side around and away from that central star. So Eta Carina is a star that we are watching and expect to explode at some point in the future. How soon that will be is a good question. So that was our picture of the day for July 9th of 2023. It was titled Doom Star Eta Carina. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Stellar Pandemonium. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.